This pepper is the guajillo. It is earthy and sweet. This little pepper is where you're gonna get your spice and it's the chile de arbol. And the prettiest chili of all is the ancho with fruity and smoky notes. Together, they make the pepper party. And when combined, these peppers make a magical sauce. Throw all these peppers into a pot of boiling water. We did five ancho, four guajillo, and three arbol. Keep in mind that you can customize the quantities of each pepper to your liking. Add in two white onions. Add in a few garlic cloves. Make sure everything gets submerged, especially the onion. Once those have all boiled down, you're gonna to wanna to transfer them over to a blender. You'll fill this blender about halfway with your chili broth. Throw in a handful of fresh cilantro. Now season this with garlic salt, chicken bouillon, salt, and pepper. Once all that's done, go ahead and blend it all up. Now it's time to give it a taste test. Woo, that's good. If it's too spicy, there are a few things you can do, but the easiest is gonna to be to add some water. Yeah. Ooh. Once the taste is right where you want it, go ahead and stick it through a sieve, take all your sauce, run it through a sieve, get rid of all that pepper skin, and what you're left with is a rich, velvety sauce. Get some oil down on a pan, and you're gonna fry these tortillas individually on both sides. Be careful not to under or over fry these. Under frying these is gonna mean they're gonna rip really easily and not hold structure. And over frying them, you're just gonna be left with the tostada and you won't be able to roll it up. Set these aside on a napkin. Next, you're gonna heat up some of your enchilada sauce. Now you're gonna base all of your tortillas inside of this enchilada sauce. I wouldn't recommend using metal tongs like I did here just because it makes it so much easier to accidentally rip these. Once you got yourself a nice stack of these beautiful saucy tortillas, go ahead and start to prep everything else so that you can start assembling these enchiladas. So what we like to do is add in our meat, add in some shredded cheese, and some onion. Once we've got that, we carefully roll it up. And these don't have to be perfect as you're gonna lay them side by side. And when you eat them, you don't typically pick them up. And sometimes I'll make some that are just cheese and sauce as it really just helps me appreciate the enchilada sauce and all that flavor from the peppers. I'm actually obsessed with this sauce. So when we make these, I usually insist that we top it with extra sauce. Go in with some cheese on top, cilantro and olives. Now into the oven at 350, we typically leave these on for anywhere between 10 to 14 minutes. We really just wait until all the cheese is fully melted and we know they're ready to go. Here's what my plate looks like. And there it is, you guys. A really simple way to make homemade enchiladas with sauce that's so addicting and goes good on so much more than just enchiladas. Let me know in the comments, have you guys ever made enchiladas? Do you make them differently? I'd love to hear from you. Please share and subscribe for more. Thanks and see you next time.